Herbert runs a 452, 323 miles an hour. In over 20 years of racing, Doug Herbert has seen his share of danger, and he's had his ups and downs. He was the second person ever to break the 300 mile per hour barrier, and he's a four time IHRA season champion. But in January of 2008, all the wins and losses became inconsequential. In January of 2008, my whole life changed. It only took a moment to lose my two boys. One moment and one bad decision. I was in Phoenix and uh, their mom called me and told me that John and James were in an accident and uh, that she thought they might be dead. And uh, I think she was standing right there. I left Phoenix, Arizona to come home, to come back to Charlotte. And uh, I came from the airport and I drove straight over to where the accident was. He was driving recklessly. He was, he was, he was swerving through traffic and uh, he was going too fast and he lost control of the car, slid across the road and another car hit him Right, pretty much from directly from the front side. And both uh, John and James, from everything that I understand, they were killed instantly right on the, uh, right there. They were killed instantly right there. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know why it happened. So the only thing that I can do is try and do something to help, to help other kids drive safe. Because I don't want other kids and their friends to go through this. And I don't want other parents to go through this. I don't think he realized um, what could have happened, or if he did realize, he just didn't take that um, into consideration. It's amazing, like, what could happen to a car. Like, you get in a car a lot of times, you feel safe, and then you see this. Yeah, it makes me realize how short life really is and that anything can happen to anyone, because he was just driving to McDonald's, and he didn't know, you know? None of us knew that's what's gonna happen, so. Just like imagine your best friend dying in a car wreck. And if you don't want that to happen, then don't drive like that. Because you don't want anybody else to feel, you know, feel like, you know, you lost somebody. Right after the accident with John and James, uh, I wanted to do something to try and affect other kids' lives and other parents' lives because I don't think anybody really has any idea how much it affects everybody else. And so we've started this program called BREAKS. And BREAKS stands for, and the kids all came up with this, be responsible and keep everyone safe. And that's pretty much, that's what we want to do. Tonight our Making a Difference report is about a man who makes his living in drag racing. A few seconds of fire and smoke and a harrowing quarter mile at a time. But when tragedy struck Doug Herbert's family on the road, he decided to turn that experience into something positive and developed a new passion for helping young drivers. NBC's Janet Shamlian has the story tonight from Bristol, Tennessee. It's called situational awareness. The no, last time Doug on. Herbert was at the Bristol the Motor Speedway, he was on the track in a hot rod that can scream past 300 miles an hour. Doug Herbert! The professional drag racer has won six times here. This, to me, it's a lot of therapy. But on this day, he's after a different type of win, just off track. As teen drivers navigate a hazard-filled course. It was heartbreak that compelled him to step out of the driver's seat and put teens like these behind the wheel. With his own cash, the help of other pro drivers, and Kia donated cars, Herbert started a free driving school called Brakes. Lessons on what to do in common road emergencies. I didn't want to do it. I don't need this. Now I'm really glad because I was dumbfounded with all of this. That Michaela and the other teens here learn something means the world to Herbert. If I did nothing, I was going to be guilty of a crime, and I wasn't going to do nothing. I was going to, I was going to do something, and I was going to make sure that John and James were going to make a difference.